totality was over. For me, personally, check off that bucket list item. But I'm now hooked. I will seek out future total eclipses. Meanwhile, from our hilltop site, even minutes after totality ended, but while the moon still partially obscured the sun, the hordes began to head for home. We'd delay our departure a few hours or a day just to avoid those crowds. That's about two miles of traffic. traffic. is backing up. You can imagine what it's like out on 26. Yeah. The main artery. Oh no, it's still no, flowing you can out see there. See artery, yeah, yeah. But it's people can't get out because of they the. They can't get into the. It takes traffic one person flow. to go left, and it creates a massive traffic jam. Yep. That was pretty cool. The the, the coloring and the way it slowly dimmed down and had like a orange or red hue to everything. Yeah. Quite. Under, I thought the sky was really going to get black, but it was really kind of blue out there in the distance. It was such yeah. an odd color, yeah, just a very different color. Yeah. It was, I liked how the temperature started dropping though for like an hour before oh, it Oh, the out. temperature yeah. change was great, yeah. yeah it was cool. Good morning everyone. I am headed back home. The intention is to take a lengthy way back to the house. Using back roads, I made my way through Oregon and Idaho to Mountain Home, where I spent the night. The next morning, I'd head south into Nevada, crossing the scenic Duck Valley Indian Reservation and Wild Horse State Recreation Area. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Day 14 of the solar expedition. I plan to make my way down to Elko, Nevada and probably will spend the night there. And then tomorrow, drive a really neat county road to US Highway 50. Where's a bull go? Anywhere he wants. This is Wild Horse Dam. And this is the lake that is formed by the dam. And I'm arriving in the town of Elko. 
Though the roads I drove were all paved, the scenery was pretty and the roads only lightly traveled. I was excited for tomorrow, however, because I'd drive across a very remote stretch of dirt road in Nevada, White Pine County Road 1, including a short stretch of the original Pony Express Trail. Good morning everyone. Welcome to day 15 of the Solar Eclipse Expedition. I have departed the town of Elko, Nevada and I'm headed for Eli, Nevada using mostly dirt roads that run between Interstate 80 and U.S. Highway 50. U.S. Highway 50, of course, is America's loneliest road. And I'm coming to the turn to Overland Pass. An abandoned homestead right here along County Road 1. Approaching something rather interesting here. Stop and take a look at this sign. What we have here is the, the old Pony Express Trail from 1860 to 1861, and the road goes off into these mountains over here and off into these mountains over here. What I'm going to do is uh, just drive a little bit of this uh, Pony Express route out to the west. Let's get a little off camber here. Turned around. Why that sage smells strong out here. It is nice. Driving back at County Road 1. Yep, I'd say this is pretty remote out here. So while I was down here shooting a little bit of video of the surrounding mountains, I noticed this trail right here. It looks like it leads right up to a small cave. And uh, there 
course, what I suspect is a cave right up there. It looks like it from down here. A little trail going up to it. Well, that uh, actually goes pretty far back in there, maybe about 15 feet. Not a very high ceiling, but uh, I could see where a person might be able to sleep a night or two in here. Headed down from the cave. A little steep. some horses out here. I believe these are wild horses. Well, I passed through a junction with a sign that said uh, Highway 11 Miles. I also saw some more horses, and I believe I saw burrows with them also, so they ran away before I could get a close look at them. I just turned onto U.S. Highway 50 from White Pine County Road Number One. Took that all the way down from Elk Grove, so that route is probably about 125 miles. I made my way down U.S. Highway 50, America's loneliest road, and spent the night in Ely. The next morning, I was up early and headed into Utah, still on back roads and byways. Maybe some processing facilities here. Just some neat artifacts. I'm here at the site of the old Frisco mining town. This is uh, on BLM land. Uh, the mine itself, it's on private land, so obviously I'll stay out of there. But it's pretty cool. Maybe an old steam engine or something? I'm not sure. In the back, you can see the old charcoal kilns. Old rock building there. Property, no trespassing. There's some of the old mining equipment right up there. And some of the buildings related to the mine over here. And down in this area over here. I left the old Frisco mining town headed for Beaver. My plan was to cross the mountains over to Junction, then make my way to the vicinity of Torrey. This would position me within a few hours of the ferry crossing of Bullfrog Landing on Lake Powell.
at the Painted Desert, I was like, oh, this is where I really wanted to be to watch the eclipse. Dawn. Yeah. I was, you know, because that's really what my plan was. Yeah. But when I was there today, I'm like, you know, it would have been really nice, but there would have been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds there of people. There were. And where I was with that small group of really sweet people was pretty darn nice. Oh, well, I think she I, just spoke nice was, about us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's what I came we to the conclusion. We drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Because there would have been, you know, hundreds of, I mean, there yeah, were. They there said were. thousands. They well, said thousands of people. You can see that the observation point mm -hmm. was just packed. And the mm -hmm. roads were packed. You know, mm -hmm. that Carol Rim was packed. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's well, why I we decided not to go down there. Because yeah. uh, yeah. last night we were talking about potentially going down there to, mm -hmm. uh, like getting up at 4 a.m. and getting right. in there because they're only like 250 cars in. And uh, we just realized that there's just...